There's just a lot of joy in sharing family history and learning about our ancestry. For two weeks in the summer, hundreds of thousands of people gather in Washington, D.C. for the annual Smithsonian Folklife Festival. This year's festival explores the many ways Americans express their spirituality. And a special invitation was extended to Family Search International, sponsored by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. So this is a way for everybody to understand that the greatest strength of a nation is its diverse culture. And to be able to see that play out on the National Mall, between the Washington Monument and the Capitol, really sends the signal that America is an amazing place when it gets its arm around itself. Family Search began its relationship with the Smithsonian when Secretary Bunch was the founding director of the Smithsonian National African American Museum of History and Culture. So working with Family Search and others, we were able to sort of make the thousands of records of the Freedmen's Bureau accessible through the Research Center. And so it's really that kind of thing that says history is too important just to be in the hands of historians. It ought to be in the hands of all of our families. And that's why I love Family Search. Volunteers are staffing a Family Search booth during the festival to show others how to find information about their ancestors online. We have people that want to know about religion, want and are intrigued by what we're sharing. We are going to impact up to maybe half a million people in 10 days. I saw that I have a few more late great, great aunts and uncles than I had anticipated. It's great information, it's wonderful, and it's appreciated. We're really excited to be here where there are so many people and uh, who are so interested in learning about their families. We've had a lot of people and a lot of interest so far. The Folklife Festival coincides with Fourth of July celebrations in the nation's capital. Hundreds of thousands of spectators gathered along Constitution Avenue for the annual National Independence Day Parade. It's a wonderful place. People are here to celebrate our uh, nation's birthday. My hope is that everybody will catch that feeling of joy that comes from sharing the gospel through family history.